Welcome to the 47th lecture on computational mathematics with Sage Math. In this lecture, we shall explore some uh, methods of interpolations. So, let us start with Lagrange interpolations. So, what is Lagrange interpolations method? So, in case you are given, let us say, set of n plus 1 points in the plane where y i is let us say value of a function f of x i and this x i may or may not be equally spaced, then we want to what we want, we the, one can show that then there exists a unique nth degree polynomial passing through these n plus 1 points and this polynomial p n let us say call this polynomial p n is given by l naught x y naught plus l 2 x y 2 plus dot 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 ln x y where l i j l i j will be 0 if i is not equal to j and is equal to 1 if i is equal to j. So, one can show that or one can find that l i is given by this uh, formula which is product of x minus x naught into x minus x 1 dot 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 x minus x i minus 1 x into x uh, into x minus i plus x i plus 1 dot 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 x minus x n. So, numerator is product of x minus x j i not equal to um, j and denominator is x i minus x naught into x i minus x 1 dot 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 x i minus x n. So, the product will be x i minus x j uh, when i is not equal to j. So, that is L i. So, this is what is uh, any interpolating polynomial like this is known as Lagrange interpolating polynomial. So, let us see how we can create this Lagrange interpolating polynomial. Uh, it should be quite easy to write a program, uh, says program that finds this in, uh, Lagrange interpolating polynomial. However, uh, we will use inbuilt uh, methods in, in C's. So, let us start with uh, we have these uh, uh, 5 points minus 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, minus 2 minus 2 uh, 9 and 1 3 and let us plot these these points. So, these are the uh, set of 5 points to these 5 points we want to fit a Lagrange interpolating polynomial. So, here since there are 5 points the Lagrange interpolating polynomial will be of degree 4. Now, how do we uh, do that? So, uh, first define R to be polynomial ring over this x polynomial ring over r and with symbol x this is what is generally we call r x and then the c is has inbuilt method over this r called lagrange in uh, lagrange underscore polynomial and that you fit it to this nodes which are these five points now if you look at what is this uh, what is this f let me ask you to show what is this f this is the interpolating polynomial you have, you have got these are the coefficients. So, this is coefficient of x to power 4, this is coefficient of x to power q and so on. So, that it, it has inbuilt method to, to find interpolating polynomial. Now, let us plot graph of this interpolating polynomial along with uh, these uh, set of points. So, uh, we simply add uh, this plot f between minus 2 and 3. So, you can see here this uh, the, the x coordinate of these points lies between minus 2 and 3. So, let us plot this and we will plot points in red color and the curve in blue color. So, that is the uh, Lagrange interpolation polynomial along with the set of points and you can extend this to uh, any finitely many points. Of course, if you have large number of points, the, uh, the it, it will take lot more time. Right. Okay. So, uh, this we have already done. Uh, next, you can evaluate value of f at any point intermediate point uh, between uh, minus 3 and 2. So, f at uh, point 5 is um, this. If you evaluate, uh, let us say for example, f at node point. So, for example, f at minus 2, f at minus 2 is 9 and what was the f at minus 2? That is also 9 minus 2 is 9 f at 1 is 3. So, for example, if I say f at 1 is equal to f at 
1 then it will be 3. So, this, this uh, polynomial passes through all these points. So, that means f uh, the p, p if I call this polynomial as f then f of x i is y i right. And uh, similarly you can you can even find out f the value of f at uh, let us say uh, for example, 5 it will give you. Of course, uh, the question of accuracy the, the it may not be all that accurate. Okay. Similarly, let us look at suppose we have a function uh, a function f x is equal to 1 upon 1 plus 4 x square and let us say divide this into n equal parts for various values of n and let us find out uh, Lagrange interpolating polynomial to this. So, how do we do that? Uh, we can we can take f x equal to 1 pl upon 1 plus 4 x square and then let us plot uh, these function first and then again define r to be polynomial ring over q q uh, or over r r and let us take uh, we have 20 points. So, plot these 20 points uh, x i uh, and y i, y i is f at x i and then fit find out this polynomial which is p x I am calling this as p x and then plot the points along with the given set of polynomials. So, let us see how it looks like yeah. So, this is how it looks like let me let me reduce the figure size uh, show this with uh, fig size is equal to let us say 4. So, this is what you get this is a so you can see here I mean uh, this fitted polynomial uh, would be quite close to the actual uh, graph of the function. So, in this case uh, th these are the set of points and the fitted polynomial. Uh, you could also plot graph of this uh, the function f of x. So, let me let me plot uh, um, let us say yeah this is already plotted this is in black color and uh, this uh, uh, this fitted polynomial in in blue color and you can see here both are almost close to each other except uh, somewhere here which is not all that close. So, if you increase the number of points for example, if I increase instead of 20 let us make it to 50 and then uh, uh, it will be much more closure actually right. So, one can find out what is the, the error term. You could also create for example, uh, plot several interpolating polynomial together. So, this is just uh, we are plotting uh, interpolator, uh, interpolating polynomial by dividing this interval uh, minus 1 to 1 in 4 parts, in 6 parts, in 8 parts and in, in 10 parts. So, all this together you can also plot. So, this, this is just to demonstrate that in case you, you increase the degree of this interpolating polynomial then this uh, approximation is much better than much better or it is very close to the actual graph. You could also create an animation uh, for this using sage interact so, using sage interact. However, uh, he, here I am running uh, Jupyter lab. Jupyter lab seem to have some problem when it comes to running this animation. So, what I will do I will run this in Jupyter. So, let me uh, uh, go to to my desktop and let me start a sage notebook. By the way, you can run more than one uh, sage server. So, I am running uh, Jupyter lab at the same time I am also starting uh, Jupyter notebook. Now, let me start a new notebook uh, that is no, new sage math kernel and uh, let me paste it here and let us execute this let us execute this it is taking time but it should come <coughs> right. So, this is what you get and uh, it should also give you just one second let me run once again. So, this gives you the set of points along with the the, the polynomial which it, had, it has found out and you can change these points. So, for example, we have taken 1 minus 2, I can take 1 uh, for example, 1 1 to, uh, to uh, let us say 1 and then run automatically this will, will change. 
So, this is uh, uh, how one creates this is what is called at the rate interact. So, first uh, you are giving the set of points that is some, some default points and this is the, the label and then we are saying what is the width of this and then all you need to do is just uh, add these commands which we used for plotting uh, interpolating Lagrange interpolating polynomial along with the set of po uh, points that is all is required. So, you can you can create this for uh, actually this is what is called interactive graph right. Let me go back to the Sage uh, Jupiter lab uh, once <coughs> yeah next uh, let us look at Sage has also inbuilt function to uh, you can also use psi pi in order to find interpolating polynomial. So, uh, how do we how do we do that? So, let us first import psi pi and once you have imported psi pi then inside psi pi there is a there is a uh, there is a module called interpolate. So, if I say uh, says psi pi dot interpolate and then dot and then press tab let us run this and then press tab you will see all the uh, uh, several just one second psi pi dot interpolate inter oh, there is inter p dot just one second now we have to import uh, let us import uh, interpolate psi pi dot interpolate ok now you can ask for psi pi psi pi dot interpolate dot tab then you will see the several there are several methods uh, including one which is uh, uh, Lagrange. So, this is Lagrange interpolation it also has spline interpolation and there are many other other things. So, you can explore this and it also has B spline right. So, uh, how do we make use of this uh, Lagrange interpolation from uh, psi pi? So, let us import numpy as np and from in uh, says uh, from psi pi interpolate import Lagrange and then how do we create? Suppose you have these points x x uh, the x coordinate of the set of points 4 points is what I have taken here y y is the y, co y coordinates of uh, these set of points and just say Lagrange x x comma y y and then it will give you the polynomial. Of course, in this case it gives you the coefficients of the Lagrange interpolating polynomial and uh, again you can find out what is the value of Lagrange interpolating polynomial at any point let us say for example, 1.2 right. So, this is how you can uh, uh, use Lagrange interpolating polynomial either uh, 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 using this method Lagrange underscore uh, polynomial uh, or you can use psi pi right. Now, let us uh, look at uh, spline interpolation. So, spline interpolation is actually very powerful tool and it is used very heavily in, uh, in uh, many engineering branches uh, whenever you want to approximate some curve then, uh, then we use spline interpolation. So, you, you Sage has inbuilt function called spline. So, you can you can uh, take help on uh, spline and then then see what are the the facilities available inside this document right. So, let us create a spline. So, uh, uh, first of all you take define the set of points. So, here are the points we are taking as 0 1 1 2 4 5 5 3 and we simply say spline over this set of points list of points and then let us see what is s it uh, it gives you s as it has created the spline that uh, fits to this set of points and uh, it says that you can uh, this spline is fitted over this set of points. Now, you can find out what is the value of the s at any point intermediate point. So, uh, suppose if I say s um, of 1 it should give me 2 
if I say S of uh, any value between 1, 0 and 5, it should give me. So, for example, if I say S of uh, uh, say 3, then it is this value, 3 is not a part of any of this uh, x value of the nodes. But if I say S of let us say 7, then it will give you none value. If I say anything uh, beyond these, these um, x values, so S of let us say minus 1, it will also give you none value. So, this, this uh, unlike Lagrange interpolating polynomial, this uh, spline will fit only within these set of points, not uh, uh, beyond this. Yeah, so this I already explained. Uh, you could you even uh, change the value of one of these node after you have fitted this spline. So, for example, S of 1, S of 1 will be this uh, 1, 1, uh, 1, 2 was uh, uh, S of 1 that is the second point in this case was 1 comma 2. Now, suppose I change that to 2 comma 3 and then you can again uh, re, uh, it will recompute this spline and gives you the value. right? So, you do not have to do this procedure again, you simply just uh, reassign um, one of this node, it will compute. Similarly, you could, you could uh, even delete one of these nodes. So, suppose I, if we delete, delete the first point, what was the first point? 0 comma 1. Suppose we delete this first point and then see what is S, you will see that now first point is not there. You could even, uh, you could even append a point. Now, let us say append first point 0, instead of 0 comma 1, let us say 0 comma minus 1. And then now, uh, of course, it will append at the end, not at the beginning. But it does not matter, the, the, this uh, order does not matter, you can uh, you, still you will be able to fit this spline. You could, now let us uh, plot the graph of set of points, the points we are taking as i plus sin i square divided by 2 and the second coordinate is i minus cos i square by 2, i is varying between uh, 0 to 9 and when you fit this spline to this set of points and let us plot uh, this graph. So, you can see here this uh, is actually very, very um, smooth. So, fitting spline uh, is, uh, let me, let me reduce the figure size, fig size is equal to let us say 4. Yeah. If you increase the number of points, for example, instead of 10, uh, let us make it uh, 50 and then this is, uh, this is, so in this case, uh, these set of points has gone out. So, I should say here n, oh no, this is, this is 50, right. Yeah. So, that is how you can fit. Similarly, let us take, uh, you could, once you have fitted this spline to given set of points, that spline you can even find the derivative. You can find derivative. So, for example, let us look at the same spline and then uh, find out derivative of this f. f is the spline fitted to this set of points and we can find out def de derivative of this and then plot the graph. So, uh, let me again reduce the figure size, fig size fig size is equal to let us say 5 in this case, right. So, if no, 5 is slightly big, so let me make it 4, you can, right. So, this, this uh, fitted spline, this is actually a differentiable function. Similarly, you can, you can even integrate. So, you can, uh, you can find out f dot definite integral of this between 0 and 1. So, you can find different integral of this between 0 and 1 or 0 and whatever it is the, the, the number. Uh, for example, we have taken here 10. So, we can, we can ask 9. No, sorry, 9 is I think beyond. So, yeah. So, within that limit, it will give you the definite integral. Okay. So, uh, you, you could also explore, uh, uh, for example, I, I would expect you 
uh, in case you have learned other interpolation method like uh, uh, Newton's method which uses uh, equally placed uh, points in an interval then you could uh, actually create your own sage subroutine for Newton's backward and forward interpolation similarly you, uh, for Newton's divided difference right ok. So, let me leave you few simple exercises the first is create sage routine to find Lagrange interpolating polynomial to a given set of points we have used inbuilt methods next one is uh, consider a function f x equal to x into e to the power minus x square generate 10 points random points x1 x2 xn which are uh, equally placed between 0 and 1 and define y equal to f x i. So, you have 10 points x i y i now uh, find the Lagrange interpolating polynomial passing through this and then again plot these points along with this. So, I expect you to do this uh, for your user defined function that you have created for Lagrange interpolating polynomial and the last one is obtain the polynomial p x uh, which interpolates this using 21 e evenly spaced points and uh, then for each of these 21 evenly placed points find the value of f and the value of p and value of uh, p and also uh, tabulate the difference between the, the value of f and the value of uh, p let this let me put this as small x right. So, that is the these are the three exercises you, you could use here spline interpolation or Lagrange interpolation and in both the cases you can you can you can uh, compare right. So, this these are some simple exercises uh, you could try. So, thank you very much.